Hi, this is Dorothy from TaiChiBozeman.com slash raw food blog and from FaveHealthyRecipes.com. We're making some sagacious, wise sage stuffing today. And first you take a cup of sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds and walnuts and you soak them overnight and then, especially the sunflower seeds, you let them sprout for a day till they get that little tip on them, which means they're opening up. And that's when all the enzymes start to uh, unfold for you. And I'm making double the recipe which I put underneath the video here, but now I'm finding I have to take half out or it won't fit. So that's why we've got some strange things going on here. But it is one cup of nuts and seeds, and then a third cup of yellow onion. And I make this every Thanksgiving, and all my raw food eaters and my meat eaters just love it. Like everybody's so addicted to it. My daughter and her friends all ask for it every Thanksgiving. Third cup of yellow onion and three-fourths cup of celery. It's so easy. You just pulse all these together and then dehydrate it. And your house really smells like Thanksgiving with the sage going on there. And then um, mushrooms and you put in about a half cup. Oh, I'm sorry, a cup, so we're taking half of two cups there. And then one to two tablespoons of coconut aminos. Or you could use Nama Shoyu or uh, Bragg's amino acids. One to two tablespoons of olive oil, and I'm using two. This is from Matt Amston from Raw Revolution. This is based off his recipe. And I like to change it a little and use the coconut aminos because they're raw and they taste so close to soy sauce. And then the last thing is all the seasonings, which will make it taste the best. We've got salt and pepper and half an, one and a half teaspoons of sage, thyme, and kelp in here. These are the key ingredients because that's going to make it taste like sage stuffing, and it really is. And then you pulse it a few times. And that's all you do because you want it to be crumbly like bread stuffing. And take your spoon and spread it on your dehydrator tray. And then you're going to dehydrate it at 105 degrees for just about four hours. And if you haven't started eating it by then, you will and you will not be able to stop because it tastes so good. Enjoy this from Dorothy at TaiChiBozeman.com slash raw food blog. And also enjoy it with my cranberry orange stuffing, which is coming up next. And from FaveHealthyRecipes.com.